What's up everybody? Tom Coffey here, founder of ObstacleCourseWorkouts.com. Today I want to spend some time and talk to you about the best obstacle course races to run if you've never ran one before and are thinking about running your first race. That was a bit of a tongue twister. So I recommend, there's a lot of good races, um, good obstacle course races out there. You have the Spartan Race events, the Tough Mudder events, the Warrior Dash events, the Epic Race series, Bone Frog, Rud Rugged Maniac, um, and there's definitely going to be a few others that I that I just kind of slip in my mind right now. But what's cool about all these events, what whichever one you go to, they usually they actually all have events that are like three to five miles long you know, 13 to 25 obstacles, and they're great for advanced racers who want to, you know, test out their their obstacle skills, uh, maybe go for a faster time, but they're all, these races are also fantastic for beginners, and I'm going to tell you why, why I recommend starting with these ones. So, starting with, the sh with a shorter distance obstacle course race is really a great idea for a couple reasons. One, uh, for one, it'll give you a sense of if you even like obstacle course races or not. Some people, uh, I've known people to go and like they're, they do the training, they get excited, they run their first race and they're like, yeah, that, I just didn't really enjoy that. But then they have, you know, purchased the, all this gear, they're into it for a lot of money and time only to realize they didn't quite enjoy it and it's not really for them. So I'm not saying that's going to be you, but if you run a shorter distance race, it gives you a very accurate picture whether you're going to actually like these type of events or not so that's a big reason um the second big reason is that it'll give you a chance to get familiar with the obstacles get familiar with sort of the logistics of parking of getting there of you know getting a hotel um if you're traveling kind of how the whole race works the after party depending on the race you go to so it'll just give you a nice it's a nice sort of low barrier way to get your feet wet with obstacle, court race, obstacle course racing, um, get the lay of the land, build some confidence, and uh, and then you know keep crushing it from there. And three is they're they're easier to train up for than say the eight or ten mile races or the the thirty mile races, um, and that's a big thing. So if you're doing your first obstacle course race. It's a, it's a great idea to train up for it, but the training time required for a shorter race like this will be a lot less time intensive uh, than training for, for a race that's twice or three times the distance or even more. And again, that's really important because as you, as you start to build a base of fitness, you start to get into like obstacle course shape, quote unquote, um, you can really get creative with your training. You don't need to spend you know, hours and hours and hours every day, but some base of training is to build up is a, a good idea. And training for a shorter race like this will help you build up a really solid base of obstacle course fitness, which you can either kind of maintain and stay at indefinitely, or just decide to use as a springboard if you want to eventually train up and, and go for a longer distance race in the future. Either option, you have uh, a lot of flexibility there. So that's, that's again, why, another reason why I recommend the races for, uh, as, a, as like a three to five mile distance for just starting out. Most of the events offer a 5K race, which is 3.1 miles. And they're say between 13 to 20 obstacles, you know, maybe a little bit more or less depending on the race. But Again, it's a nice way you get to, to go out there and have fun, test out the obstacles, decide if you really like it. Um, and the train up's not too terribly long, but there is some physical preparation that you should be doing beforehand. So that's my general recommendation. As far as like which event should you run a Spartan Sprint, should you run a Tough Mudder 5K, you know, there's a lot of obstacle course race uh, brands, let's call them, which you can pick from. It may, it, honestly, it's a good thing. It's sort of a gift and a curse having all these options because on the one hand, you hopefully can easily find an obstacle course race somewhat close to where you live if you don't want to travel. And, but on the, the downside, it can make deciding which race you want to run very uh, hard because there's almost too many options, right? It's paralysis by analysis, having too many options and not making a decision at all. 
So in order to, if you're interested in running an obstacle course race, but you haven't done so yet, in order to help you wade through the noise and just kind of add some clarity to your search, I've put together my recommendation for the top seven obstacle course races for beginners. I've put those into a nice, neat little blog article that I'll link below this into the description. So if you're interested, go ahead and click that. It'll take you to the article on the website and you can go ahead and read through it. It sort of breaks down every event, um, like what to expect, about how long it is, how many obstacles it is. So you can get a nice sense of maybe which event, which venue kind of resonates more with you. Do you want to run a you know, three mile race? Do you want to run a five mile race? There's even one that's shorter, it's two miles with 40 obstacles, the Epic Race Series. Um, but again, it kind of breaks that down so you have a better lens to choose your first obstacle course race so it doesn't feel too overwhelming. Um, and again, you can read those those recommendations in the article. It's linked below this in the description. So give that a click and give it a read. It'll really help you make some sense of this. And I'm looking forward to uh, ho hopefully helping you get to the starting line on your first obstacle course race. If you have decided on a race already or you thought this video was, help help was helpful, do me a favor and just drop the race you're going to in the comments. I love to hear the races people are going to and even their experience, but love to hear what race you're thinking about. And uh, if you have any questions, happy to answer those as well. Again, I'm Tom Coffey with ObstacleCourseWorkouts.com. Talk to you later.